Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and I've been getting a lot of comments about how it might be longer, so I'm going to make a bit of a longer video today. So, as you can see, uh, how about Corey here? Hey, buddy. Probably a cleanest tank called uh, Yeah, that's the thing. But, we, I set some crickets out, probably under that rock. Here, I'll show you, so... A lot of times, after a bit, I open up the tank, make sure that's good, and then over here, see that rock? I lift this up. Under the mat, there. Hmm. Should be Yeah, I definitely need to clean that up. Now, so this is mostly just a everyday cleanup tutorial video. So, I'm just going to go grab some toilet paper. And then I'm going to walk back. So, and I suggest, I suggest every week or so, taking out everything, washing it out, to make sure that it's just all clean and clean on them. Now, whenever you do feed them, I don't think that's any good in you, because if you have the right lighting, you don't really have to, but this calcium supplement you can't really see it but it's rep cow phosphorus free calcium with vitamin d i found this at pet store Market, which is not sponsored a really nice pet store i actually got falcor from it's in my own plaza so you should definitely go check them out they're really nice and very really helpful they also let me start well not let me start but like they gave me the first crickets for my cricket farm, which we just started a couple days ago. Like, there's not much else about it. But, like, I suggest if you want to know how to set up a place for your bearded dragon, get a couple of sticks for him to climb on, a food bowl with preferably high ground so the crickets don't. So, like, Stuff doesn't get out because let me show you my old one. So my old one is actually this one right here. And you can tell it's very shallow sides. So you don't want to get one of those because the problem is then you'll actually end then if you put food in there. If it's living, it will probably end up getting out. And if your if your pet likes to eat from a bowl, that would not be good, because then he'd be like, "Oh, where'd my food go?" My bearded dragon and the case with a bunch of bearded dragons is they do not like they like to chase their food. So like, normally I dust my crickets in that powder. Then I 
toss them in there. Not on him. Never. Don't put them on him. Then he, because then he might be like, or she, he'd be like, what's going on? So you want to make sure. I'm gonna put them like about here, like here, all the way down there, like in that area. And normally he gets them pretty easy, so pretty nice. And really not much else. And if you want to get like a room tour, it's just my room, or like anything else, like you hear about school or anything, like just comment on the video. So then I'll get that out to you guys as quick as possible. Oh, yeah, also, one more thing. So when you do actually handle. Okay, bye. When you do actually handle your bearded dragon, you do want to make sure that you don't just let them go anywhere because they could hide under anything. They could get hurt under anything pretty much. So look. Like, and you don't want to like squeeze their sides. I see a bunch of people like squeeze them like normal lizards, but what you want to, like other lizards, but what you want to do is I just wanna put on yep, my right hand in put on my left hand. Nope, that's not gonna work. Sorry, some technical difficulties. Just kinda wanna scoop them up. Hey there, buddy. And you want to, if you're holding them up here, like I am, make sure you have a secure, secure hold on him. See? I'm not holding him too tight, but I'm not holding him too loose. And... YouTube. Sorry about the light. I just want to like sometimes let him choose where he wants to go. Like this, and I just want to like hold him like this every day or so for him to get used to you. And also, if you just get him, you you want to put him in his terrarium immediately. And you also want to stick something like maybe a sock or a shirt or something. Something that has your scent on it near the cage or like on top of the cage if you have a screen top like I do. Yeah, so he can get used to your scent before you even get out and handle him. But you don't want to put it in the tank because he might be smothered and suffocate. And also, another tip when you're picking up him, you don't, so like, look, you don't want to go like that because he freaks out. You want to have at least, three, I like to think, at least three points of contact between solid surface and his feet. So like three feet needs to be touching solid surface or else he'll feel uncomfortable and try to, like, he'll squirm and stuff. And like... Just kind of like, don't do dumb stuff, like don't set him out, like, you see all this stuff? Yeah, my room is going to be messy. You see all this stuff, and like under the bed, and like, there's a big pile of stuff back there? You don't want to let him out here, because what you'll find is he will actually get under that stuff, and it will be hard to get him out, because he'll kind of like camp back there, and... It's be hard to get him out. Now, the pretty dragon, it'll probably be normal for yours too. If he does the slow bend, kind of like. And 
and it may look like he's going to sleep, but then he, um, oh, hey buddy. But if you like right here, you might turn for the bed, so, oh, buddy. If he does stuff like that, you just kind of like put your hand in front of his face and he'll kind of run up it. That's what I did, but you don't want to like slam, you don't want to go bang. You just want to like hold it there, like this. He'll go into it, he'll go up, and you can wrap around. Like, I don't want him getting up here because he might get back and like go somewhere else. So, that's probably going to be it for today's video. Remember, I do upload. With the other time daily with the hair falcor. That's it for today. Peace out. Falcor says bye. Right? Yeah. Bye guys. See you next time.